Hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel today's video is going to be all about the 2021 Mac Mini. I actually just bought myself the M1 Mac Mini about three months ago and so far I've really really enjoyed using it. It's actually the first Mac Mini I've ever bought. I was always kind of skeptical of them but now that I actually own one I'm a huge fan and I will probably be buying the Mac Mini that we're talking about in this video. It's just kind of unfortunate that I literally just bought one three months ago and then a brand new one is coming very soon. But anyways that's part of being an Apple fan. You buy something and then something new comes out right away and then you have to go spend some more money. But anyways let's dive into the video. So John Prosser uploaded a video today regarding this new M1X Mac Mini and there's two main points that I want to talk about. Number one is that this new Mac Mini is going to have a lot more ports which is great because the M1 Mac Mini was pretty limited. So what we should be seeing with the 2021 Mac Mini is a magnetic power cable just like on the new iMac, a power button on the back and four Thunderbolt ports instead of two that we saw on the M1 Mac Mini. We're also going to be seeing two USB-A ports, Ethernet and an HDMI port. Way more ports this year if everything checks out the way that he's saying, which I think is awesome because like I said, the M1 Mac Mini was pretty limited, so that's a pretty big deal and I'm sure Apple listened to a lot of the feedback that they got with the M1 Mac Mini. So on top of that, it also looks like we're going to be getting a new design with the new Mac Mini, which is great because it's looked pretty much the same for years now. So with the renders here, it looks like it's going to look similar but a little bit thinner and a little bit more modern. The M1 Mac Mini was still pretty small and slim but the fact that we're slimming it down a little bit more is pretty cool because if you're someone who likes to keep a more minimal aesthetic on your desk setup you'll be able to tuck it in maybe under a monitor stand or something and just free up more space on your desk. There's my M1 Mac Mini over there. It's still super slim so I can't even imagine what this new thinner design is going to look like on a desk. It also looks like the vent is going to be on the bottom and that we're going to be getting rubber strips to help keep it in place and these are super similar to the other render that John Prosser released regarding the new MacBook Air. It looks like we're also getting an update to the top of the Mac Mini as well. It looks like it's going to have a plexiglass-like material, which seems a bit odd, but apparently one of the reasons for that is the possibility of having different colored Mac Minis. John Prosser said multiple colors, which I don't think is going to happen, but it's definitely possible. If they're going to change the materials up, they could change the colors too, make it a little bit more personal to the customer. And Apple's been introducing colors to a lot of their products lately, so I wouldn't be surprised if it actually happened with the Mac Mini. Now on to the internals of the Mac Mini because it looks like it's going to be super similar to the new MacBook Pros. So that means that we should be getting 64 gigs of RAM, a 10 core CPU, and 16 to 32 graphics cores. And powering it all should be the M1X or M2 chip. A lot of people are speculating that the chip's official name is going to be the M1X. But like I said in my previous video, it doesn't really matter what it's called. I just want to see the performance differences that have been leaked on things like Geekbench because this M1X chip looks to be an absolute powerhouse and I definitely want to sell my M1 Mac Mini in order to buy this one, especially because all of the additional ports that are rumored to be coming is definitely a big thing for someone like myself who creates content for the internet. So having multiple ports is definitely going to be a good thing and I think a lot of people are going to be pretty happy with the rumors surrounding this new M1X Mac Mini. We're getting a better chip, more ports, a new design, and the price is most likely going to stay right around the exact same. So that means you would be getting Apple's best chip for Apple's best price and then you just plug this into whatever display you want and there you go. There's images of the Mac Mini connected to a Pro Display XDR and I think it looks fantastic. Having the Mac Mini slim down a little bit connected to a display like that is great. So if you guys do have a Pro Display XDR this could definitely be a great way to get your hands on Apple's newest hardware. So yeah that's all of the latest news regarding the new M1X Mac Mini. Like I said we could be seeing this guy next month at WWDC or a little bit later in the year. Mark Gurman was actually saying that we could be seeing this right before 2022 around the November time frame but fingers crossed we get a glimpse at it next month in June. Anyways leave a comment down below of what you guys think about this new news. Are you guys excited for a redesign even though it's not really drastic? What are your thoughts on all of the added ports and are you planning on picking up the new M1X Mac Mini? But that's the end of the video guys I hope you enjoyed it. If you did make sure you like and subscribe. I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video.